welcome back. I'm going to talk about my three favourite fire lighting tools. They're not necessarily the best, but they're my favourite and they're what I use regularly. First up is my ferro rod. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you've seen most of my stuff before, but I just wanted to talk about them for a bit. So this is my favourite ferro rod. Now it doesn't look like anything you've seen before. It's basically a light my fire bar covered in tape with a removable striker. I usually use this in conjunction with a knife but I've always got a striker just in case. It's a reasonably sharp little striker so it'll It'll shave um, fat wood or scrape bins and the tape on the handle is duct tape or gaffer tape, whatever you like to call it, and that also is flammable. And it's my uh, emergency medical kit, because if I cut myself, I usually dry it quick and put some tape around it, because tape stays on and plasters don't. Lucky for me, I heal quite quick. So there's not a problem. I was told as well that the glue in this tape has a mild antiseptic to it. I don't know how truthful that is, but I was told that, and I was told that by Moz Kohansky. So, so that's my first one. Actually, underneath there, it's quite worn, because I only really need the first portion anyway. Don't need the whole stick. So that is my first choice. My second choice is my SC tool. Now I've had this a good few years. I bought this before cheaper alternatives came out. You know, Dave Canterbury sells one in the shape of an arrowhead. Don't see much sense in that, but it's a damn sight cheaper than that. And I know now the Bushcraft store in the UK, they do a version as well. Haven't tried it, I'm sure it's fine because a lot of their stuff's good. So this has got multiples of uses. Number one, you can see it's got a divot for a bow drill. I've got an old set here. This probably won't work because it's damp. can't fault it, works great. You do have to make quite a sharp point though, because it, it, it can eat it away a bit, but it's better than using another block of wood. That's pretty self-explanatory. They do say it's good for striking a ferro rod, but I don't think it's that good. See what I mean? And you can also scrape fat wood with it. But what I think I need to do, but I keep forgetting to do it, is to put one side on the belt linisher and get a really square edge and don't use that edge for striking flint on. But I keep forgetting. So that's second choice, and I do like that, good bit of kit. But as I say, when I bought it, it was expensive for what it is. Bearing in mind, I could make one of these. It would probably take me less than an hour. And my third choice. is my Exotac match case. So it's basically a large Exotac match case. There's a little carabiner on it, but if I wanted to clip it on my belt or whatever, on my trousers. So you got a striker on the bottom, which is not much good because all the matches these days are safety matches. It's got a waterproof seal. And I have tested it in a bucket of water 
when I bought it and yes it is waterproof so what I carry in here are a mixture of large kitchen matches and the big size obviously it gives you a longer burn than a small one more chance of getting your twigs or your feather sticks alight don't tend to light fires with feather sticks when I got matches it's usually straight onto twigs or maybe shavings if I'm somewhere really damp I've also got a few yuko and matches in there and I've got two spare strikers in there and there's a slightly well it's not more than slightly it's quite worn one that comes with it I think I have got some in the house I can change it but I don't know where they are in the lid I keep two discs of tinder card so if I'm really pushed and the weather's particularly crappy and everything's damp I've got a good chance of lighting with them I've also got some rubber in the tube on the outside which is also flammable and waterproof so that's my three favourite fire lighting tools slash gadgets. If you're a regular viewer, you may have seen my recent video on my three favourite fire lighting tools. And this is one of them. And I did mention in that video that I should really grind one side down as a scraper. Well, I've done it. The plan was I was going to grind one side down so it was nice and sharp and then perhaps paint it or something so I know not to use that with with the flint. <clears throat> but then I thought, oh, I don't really want to paint it, so I polished it. Basically, run it on the belt sander through all the grits from a 40 to... A 600 and then put it on the polisher so it's pretty obvious now which side not to use and then I ground the edge down flat now I had to take quite a bit off it I'd say at least a mil maybe even two mil to get the really sharp edge well I'm quite happy with that I tried it scraping a piece of fat wood in the shed and it worked really well so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go over to the block and I'm going to make some scrapings and light them with this. So I've got my modified SE tool, my ferro rod, a piece of fat wood and a stick. First up, fat wood. No mess in. Now with a stick. That was so easy.
There we are, there's my modified AC tool and I think that's made a massive difference to the tool itself having that scraper edge. Thanks for watching, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Hope you took something uh, out of this video and I'm quite pleased with the way the AC tool has turned out with the scraper edge. So until the next time, ta -ra.